Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers, and this is my three business tips in under three minutes at three o'clock. I want to give a big shout out to an old friend I haven't talked to in a long time who, link, who reached out to me on LinkedIn. Hi, Debbie. Debbie is the CFO of Rise Vision. I knew her when she was the CFO of Creditron way back. It's, gosh, it's been over a decade. It's great to uh, to say hi. She asked me a really tough question, one that was so hard I couldn't even think of the answer immediately. It's like picking which one is my favorite kiddos. She says, what is my first, what is my best three business books for her book club, maybe from a small business perspective? And that's a good question. Uh, one, I'm not going to focus on the three with, but I am going to tell you my three. I had to really think about it. It's so hard, Debbie, because, you know, my favorite business uh, autobiographies would be different or my favorite business self-help would be different. But if I was starting out, my absolute favorite books for a new business is probably The E-Myth Revised by uh, Michael Gerber. Love this book because it deals with uh, working on your business and not necessarily working in your business. It was a huge change for me to take it to the next level. Obviously, another good one is Good to Great by Jim Collins. Just love that book of knowing the difference between good and great. And the third one is one I've talked about in previous episodes, The One Thing by Gary Keller, about focusing in on the one thing. But you get a double bonus today. That's just answering her question. What I want to talk to you about today, what we can learn, entrepreneurs, uh, the book I want to uh, talk about is called Bag the Elephant by Stephen Kaplan. And you're probably saying, Fred, that's dealing with really big, high-ticket sales. What does that have to do with small business entrepreneurs? Well, the thing is, even though you may be selling a small product or you may be like me and have a small service, we need to think bigger. So my three points are, number one, he talks about having a bigger focus. And I think as small business people, we, we tend to think small. So we should have and dream big, big focus. Number two, he touches on something that we all deal with, at least I deal with, and that is over-promising. When you first start out in business, sometimes you have a tendency to be so excited about sales that you over-promise and under-deliver and you're supposed to um, over deliver and under promise. So really zeroing in on not over promising, stay within the margins of, of what you can do, what the, what the product can do or what the service can do. And the third thing he talks about in this book, which even though he's talking about bigger sales, it's really important to us. And that is operational explosion. Cause at some point you're going to grow. And one of the things that happens when you grow is sometimes your operating expenses get a little out of kilter. I'm going through this right now as my business is growing and it's hard to balance it, rebalance it the way it is. So my three tips today from this book, Bag the Elephant, is big focus, worry, folk, don't overpromise, and concern yourself about operational explosions. So that's it. I hope you're having an awesome Tuesday. Be awesome. Now go back to sleep.